Tony's Tractor Adventure. Hey, I'm here with Dave Henderson from Case International, and we're going to do a little walk around with some of the tractors. And Dave here is going to tell us about uh, some of the some of the tractors you got. All right. Dave, uh, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dave Henderson. I'm with Case IH. I'm the livestock marketing manager for Case IH uh, here at the 2020 National Farm Machinery Show. Um, glad to talk to Tony and go over some of the products that we have here. The tractor that we're standing by right now is a Farmall 35C tractor. Uh, this is the lowest horsepower tractor today that we offer. We offer it in a, in a C, which is more of a deluxe version, as well as an A series tractor, uh, both in a 35 and a 45 uh, engine horsepower. Uh, we do also have a 55C that has a cab as well. Uh, real easy to operate as far as this tractor here, you'll see it has a hydrostatic tra transmission. Uh, arrows on the pedals push forward to go forward, push uh, the reverse pedal to go backwards. So real easy to, to operate. Uh, again, some of these houses will have a cab if you want to get out of the elements uh, that you can utilize. So you can get a cab on this tractor with air conditioning? Yes, on, on the 55C version, 55. you can. Yep, the 55C version you can. I believe we also have a cab option for our 45C as well. I, one thing I noticed right off of the bat, I, I, I'm a tractor connoisseur. Yep. Uh, this seat is amazing. That's yep. an, for for uh, for. You know, you, would you consider this an economy tractor still, or, or right in the middle? This would be this uh, the C series would be more of our deluxe series, but okay. yeah, the the, the seat. I'm telling you, the seat is nice. I, 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 it's one thing I, I, I hate to see a tractor company do is they'll put a tractor on, it. and I understand you got to cut costs and stuff, but you're going to sit in that seat. That's the most. That's probably the most important thing about a tractor as an operator is that seat. You and, are 100 percent correct. I'm smiling, and, Tony, because you're spot on. Nothing frustrates me more than someone putting a really inexpensive seat yeah, on there. We'll, we'll and every time somebody sits in the tractor, they're going to experience that. Yeah. So one thing you're going to no notice as far as is, is, is we do try to put quality seats on our products so you have that comfortable ride. And we actually put the, the as far as the features and, and uh, the, as far as the control handles, easy to reach, easy to access. But yeah, a cheap seat on a, a really good tractor right. is a bad, bad, yeah. bad experience. No matter how reliable it is, if you can't yep. stand on it, it yep. it's, it's not going to yep. be any good. Yep. And I guess uh, some of the other tractors, I know as far as the audience that covers you, have a lot of the smaller size tractors. Sure, yeah. At Case IH, I mean, we go from everywhere from a 35 horsepower tractor. If you look back here, we have a Steiger uh, quad track, a 500 uh, engine horsepower tractor, and that quad track actually goes over 600 uh, engine horsepower. Right. Let, let's, let's walk over and take a look at it. Okay. All right, we're over here at this big beast here. Tell us about this thing. All right, so this is a Steiger, uh, six, uh, Steiger 500 uh, quad track. So. As you notice, the difference between a lot of the tractors that you see out there that you're buying have the wheels on it. And this right. tractor comes available as far as in wheels as well. But this one happens to be configured with what we call quad tracks. Uh, it's been technology we've actually had in the marketplace for over 20 years. And the whole theory behind this is less compaction on the soil as far as allows you to actually have a better crop come up. So, again, the same technology that we would look at putting into some of our larger tractors is the same stuff we look at from an engineering perspective and putting on our smaller tractors as well. So the, the tracks are going to put a lot less pressure on the soil. Correct. The tracks put a lot less compression. Uh, compression on the soil which allows the plants to come up a lot easier through the surface okay, okay, better okay. yields as far as as well um, the other thing is we have some new farm old tractors here as well um, that we just launched for a national farm machinery show so, so i'd like, like to show you guys those tractors all right let's go look at them all right thanks Tony. all right here's your the new line you're talking about yeah this is the we're launching at Ni national farm machinery 2020 this year we launched our new farm 95a 105a and 115a so from a case ih perspective it's really easy for the most part the the model number will represent how many engine horsepower it is. So this 115 uh, we have here is roughly 115. It's actually 120 engine horsepower. Wow. Uh, and it also has 100 PTO horsepower. So when you're running implements, you wanna make sure when you're looking at a tractor, knowing what implements you're gonna have sure. behind it. Uh, the worst thing that I like, I ha hate seeing is when a customer actually buys maybe a 50 horsepower tractor, and then they get to the point where they, they need a, a 80, a 90 horsepower tractor to run the implements behind it. So then they're right. buying another tractor. So. One of the things I think it's key to educate the customers on is understanding what their needs are for the tractor, whether it's a 35 horsepower tractor or a 100 horsepower tractor, understanding what they're going to use it, what implements are going to put behind it. So when they make that initial purchase, they're not buying too little of a tractor that, you know, two years down the road, they're going to need to trade it out to get something bigger. I mean, I, I am no tractor expert. I, I, everybody on my channel knows that. <clears throat> but I've been around the tractors a lot. This seems like a sweet spot. It's not huge, but it's got a, a lot of punch. Yep. Um, with, with Case IH, um, you know, the industry really is the sweet spot for the industry. The lower the horsepower goes, the more tractors that are sold. There's more people in the market for it. So that 
Steiger tractor that we just showed you that's a huge tractor. Yeah. Uh, the sure. volumes that are sold in that are, are light, a lot less than a tractor this size. Sure. Tractors 40 to, to 59 horsepower category, and this these here would be in that 60 to 100 horsepower category, PTO horsepower category. Those are really the sweet spots where you can do a lot of different things. They're all utility tractors. They're small enough that it can get in and out of spaces. Um, with Case IH, again, we have our A-series tractor, which is our economy series tractor. Our tractors come in two-wheel drive as well as MFD. You get them in cab. Uh, you can get different types of remotes on them. And a lot of our, our economy tractors that we call economy are uh, more come standard type features where we have a high visibility panel on the tractor here. We also have as far as a 12 by 12 power shuttle. We also have the instructor seat that standard equipment on it, two rear remotes. So when you're looking at tractors, you don't want to just necessarily look at the price, uh, but you also want to look at the features. What are you getting for your dollar? And with our A-series tractors, I mean, whether it's a 50A series tractor um, or one of this 115A tractor, you're going to get uh, an exceptional value when you buy with Case IH. All right. Look, you want to show us the rest of them. I'm, I'm, you got okay. me going on okay. I'm, I'm okay. excited. Okay. But this thing here is, a, it's, it's again, it's not a, it's not a huge uh, as far as its overall size, but it, you can see the uh, the beefiness of it. This is the, this is not some little tractor. Yeah, and and that's the one thing that Case IH prides itself in. We put a lot of weight into our tractors. Some of the other uh, manufacturers, they'll hang wheel weights and things of that nature to beefy the tractor up. With us, we put a lot of that in, the, in as far as the components of the tractor itself, like really heavy front axles here that you see on yeah, the tractor um, down below. Yep. So the this this cab unit, for example, this uh, unit right here would weigh. Uh, over 8,000 pounds as is. So 8,800 uh, pounds, I think, is what this weighs, even without the loader. So allows us to push more, pull more, lift more uh, than, than the competition. And then the unit we're looking at right here, this is actually a special configuration. This is our poultry low yeah, profile saying, configuration. Yeah. So some of the customers need to really get in the tight lower spots. Um, and this tractor here with the, with the uh, configuration we have on it allows you to Get into some of those smaller poultry houses or if you're in uh, orchards or vineyards uh, the low profile allows you to get in and out of tight spaces uh, with ease uh, and not have to worry about you know damaging a cab um, the other thing is uh, with the overall height on this with the wraps folded down is, is uh, 68.4 inches uh, and that would probably even fit in my standard three car go garage if yeah, i had yeah, yeah. space for it I found out the hard way that uh, with my little subcompact that if you don't put the roll bar down, yep. uh, it will make the front wheels come off the ground. Yes. yes. You're not going to move the house. No. No. You're right about that. So let's that. go check out your, your last one down here. Okay. All right, and, this, and this is another new model, correct? Yeah. This is uh, in the same line as we have here. This one here is a, a 115A, but this is in our standard uh, ROPS or non-cab configuration. So again, a little bit taller tire package and you see it on the, the low profile tractor. But again, this one here. Uh, would be just uh, without the cab, uh, and again, another price point to get into. If I, if you want the cab, uh, obviously that's going to increase some of the price sure. on it. If you're not using the tractor on a regular basis and you're not going to be out in the elements, from a pricing perspective, I definitely would look at a ROPS, so a non-cab version sure. tractor. Um, we Can also canopies don't cost that much. Canopies don't cost that much, uh, and also some of the uh, customers, especially if they're in some of the you know, some of the um, you know have some trees that they're working some maybe right, smaller yeah. food uh, food plots and things of that nature. A cab, you know, a lot of times you're going to drive in there and you're going to have some issues with brushes and uh, branches and stuff hitting the cab and making some damage in the cab. So sure. if you're going back in some of these food plots where a lot of, a lot of the customers I know like to go and do that, a lot of times maybe a lower profile tractor or at least a ROPS tractor that you're not going to cause damage to a cab is the way to go. A lot, a lot of our viewers are those people who yep. have like, you know, the small acreage and they're, they're using their tractors to pull logs out of the woods and I can, you know, yeah, it would be nice to set up in the air conditioner cab, but it wouldn't be nice when you rip the, you know, the side yep. of the cab off yep. on a tree and it's going to happen if you do that. Yep. You try to try to squeeze into the place it's not meant to be. Yep. And, and one of the things that I can appreciate too, because I, I've kind of, one of your sweet spots, I live on a 10 acres. My, yeah, yeah. I, I, my, my grandparents used to be dairy farmers. I went, grew up on help on the dairy farm so you know i can really relate to your customers that you're talking about tony and, and one of the things that you know, i think case ih does a really good job of is we give different features different price points for customers and i tell customers all the time i put myself in their shoes if if i'm going to put you know 20 30 hours on a tractor a year if i have the money do i want a cab sure but if i can't justify that spend a lot of times to me it's going to be i'm going to go into a, a, a non-cab tractor and I'm going to look at more of an economy tractor versus maybe a, more of a deluxe tractor. With Case IH, we have up both those packages for you. We have an economy tractor, uh, everywhere from a 35 horsepower tractor all the way up to a 140 horsepower tractor. 
Uh, and we also have the, the uh, more of the deluxe tractors from that 35 horsepower all the way up to 120 uh, horsepower. So uh, again, with the cab and the non-cab, two-wheel drive is another area where you can have a less of a price tractor if you don't want to pay the extra money for the, the MFD um, tractor. That's another way where you can save. All the tractors come with loaders uh, for the most part. You know, we're going to see on these size tractors, 80 to 90 percent of them will have loaders on them. Uh, they're they're really nice when you have that loader. You can tackle a lot of the yeah. jobs around uh, the house. To me, nowadays, without I mean, from the smallest tractor down, uh, subcompact even, the loaders, they're, they're, you, you'll learn to use them. You'll, you may get a loader at the beginning and not understand how useful it's going to be. Oh yeah. But you're going to you you the loaders in today. I, I grew up on a farm, and loaders were not common when I grew up. I, and I don't understand that now. Now yeah. that now that they're everywhere and you use them, they're they're the best things going on a tractor. Yes, so, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And when they look at a loader too, our our tractors are paired with our loaders. Um, so each tractor will have a special loader that would be put on there that you can purchase. They're beefy. Um, and there's different as far as different types of loaders too. Some people can get uh, what's called a non-self leveling loader. Some people put on sure. mechanical self leveling loaders. There's quick attachments that differ between a Euro style versus um, a skid steer sure. quick attach. So. Those are things too. When you're looking at purchasing the track, you want to ask those questions of your salesman and visit, you know, your Case IH dealership or your CaseIH.com for more information on it. Okay. Hey, one thing I want to point out: I've seen on every one of these tractors that I love, you guys got great seats. Yes. Yes. Dave, I appreciate it. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you.